What's up YouTube? So I decided I was gonna start making a video midway through this body reinforcement process. Um, what we're using is this is something a little different I'm trying. This is uh, fiberglass reinforced carbon fiber. You can get this on eBay for a big sheet. I think it's like five feet by eight feet or something for like 30 bucks, 40 bucks. Really cool design. Um, so essentially all I did was mix up my, my resin. And it's starting to dry already because I waited to do this video. So actually I'm going to add a little more into here for this. Um, so I cleaned the body, painted it up, uh, mixed up my resin. I apologize because I started without making a video. Um, cut a sheet here. I'm going to just reinforce it in pieces. I'm not going to try and do a whole sheet like I was originally going to do because it's, it's difficult. Um, so let me mix up a little more of our resin. Now I'm just using the regular fiberglass resin. With this, it's not carbon fiber uh, specific resin or anything like that. Um, and again, I just cut the sheets out, maybe shaped it a little bit, and add my hardener, which is probably a little too much hardener though. That's all. Nice. Um, so all I did was essentially paint this down with a paintbrush, and I set my sheet on top. And then the kit usually comes with this little putty knife looking thing, so you can flatten it out, smooth it in all the areas to get it all flattened down. Okay. And then mix up your resin. That's starting. I put a little too much hardener in it, and it's drying really fast. Usually the resin takes, you know. A little time to dry. We're out in the sun here and it's drying up quick. So now I'm just going to add another coat to the top of this. Wow, that brush is stiff. Okay. So I'm going to get this all coated up nice. I like the carbon fiber resin because it's considerably lighter than fiberglass. Um, and I'm assuming once this is dry, this is going to be a lot stiffer. So essentially, what I did here is create a spine down the center, you know, just like any animal. Got this center spine and then I'll that's going to keep that body from flexing this way then I'll fill in these other spots and I don't necessarily think you need every square inch of the inside of the body reinforced I think that's a little overkill and it's probably just going to add a bunch of weight so what I'm going to try and do on this one is just do a nice spine down the center I'm going to make this thing really strong down the center and then, you know, I'll put a strip here, strip here, uh, you know, overlap up the sides to keep these sides stiff because these are really flexible here. And then essentially like a little bridge across uh, the open wing here because this was all closed off in the back. This is all cut out. So you want to reinforce that. But you want your open air in the back. You want air to flow through instead of hitting a brick wall like a truck bed. Um, so let me get as much on there as I can, get this done quickly because I'm talking a lot. Now just smooth this out. This should, you know, it's pretty flexible stuff, so it'll get down, it'll turn corners, it'll do whatever you gotta do. It won't. You can't, you're not gonna be able to, you know, do one big sheet and suck it unless you have some sort of vacuum system, which I don't. You know, this is a little makeshift. Make sure if you're gonna do a new body that you just leave this protective covering on because you're gonna be touching it with resin all over your hands and it'll get all ugly on the outside. But this came out really easy. This is the first time I've done it like this, so this, you know, this worked out really well. I just cut a piece to fit down the center. And again, I added a little too much hardener. It says 10 drops per, uh, per ounce. I wasn't really measuring it, so I just put a whole bunch of drops. Uh, also, what you're going to want to do is, before you do this, you know, obviously paint your body because this is going to lay over unless you want to see the fiberglass through. Cut it out, I do, and then drill your holes for your body post. Because once you cover this, the only way you're going to know where your body post is supposed to go is to flip it over and then re-drill those out. If you covered that area before, when you know you want to do the body post when the body's still clear, so you can see exactly where they need to go, make all your adjustments, and then um, you know drill them out and then cover it and then re-drill them so you can see exactly where they need to go. Nothing needs to move. So that's going to go. I'm going to let this dry up, cut some more sheets out. Um, pause the video for now, and I'll come back when I'm ready to apply another section. All right, so I'm back real quick. Uh, went ahead and did another strip here without uh, videoing because uh, I'm by myself, and it's difficult. So what I want to show is um, we just did this strip here. The original one was the center one. I did the back one too uh, real quick. And this one that's going to go up 
the side of the car. So this one's flat in the back and then turning up. So what you want to make sure you do is figure out how you want this side panel to sit because see how it's flexible. Because um, what you're going to do is try and shape this by pushing it up to something, uh, holding it in that spot so it dries in that exact uh, sh shape. Mine I want pretty much straight up and down. This one here you can see bows out, uh, which I don't want because I don't want air to come in on the side here when I'm running. Um, but this is very important because if you let this dry um, with it at this shape, it's stuck at that shape. It's going to stay there unless you were to pry it back and put another layer and hold it there until it dried. Um, so make sure you shape it properly. Um, so I'm going to do a couple more pieces and I will come back. All right, so we're pretty much finished up here. Um, did the other side, uh, same as this one, back. I had a little pieces of uh, real carbon fiber uh, that I used in the front because it's a lot more uh, moldable to get it in so I could just do that in one piece. Um, I like the little carbon fiber. Get back inside, baby, come on. Come on, go, 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 go. Um, what I did here is I took some uh, painter's tape and as I was saying, you want to mold these side pieces to the proper shape because they're very flimsy and whenever they dry they're going to dry. Um, so once I got these wetted up, um, got some resin on there, I molded them, put them to where I wanted and then put them uh, tape across to hold them you know, as straight as I want or however you want. If you want it to fly around the back however you want. Uh, same thing back here because this area is really flimsy without this original back piece. So we're just going to let this dry up and then probably Go back on some spots that are still soft and hit them with more epoxy. Uh, and then we'll take off our protective coat and throw some decals on there, redrill the holes, and get moving. All right, so give you a little comparison of the two differences. This is the old body that I had on there, exact same body. Um, this is the new one with the carbon fiber reinforced. This one we did the way with the drywall tape and some resin, you can see it's stiff. I mean, this is stiff body, and this body held up to some serious crashes. <laughs> um, but it's more flexible. And then here, the scale. The old one is 570 grams, so about a pound and a quarter, so a pound and three ounces maybe. And the new one here is considerably stiffer. I mean, this thing is rock stiff. <clears throat> yeah. You can see I'm putting pressure on it. It's rock stiff. And... You're looking at 468, so 455 is a pound. So this is about, you know, three ounces lighter and considerably stronger. <clears throat> Much um, more rigid, yeah. Definitely more rigid. So it worked out really well. So enjoy. Okay. Here we are. This is the finished product. Finished kill mode typhon. Let me show you what the body looks like inside. All right. So this is it. Uh, doesn't look too fancy, nothing pretty, but she is stiff as a board. And in terms of reinforced bodies, she's pretty light. Um, this one again is considerably stiffer than my last body that I did. Um, I like the way this turned out. I think this is much nicer, much stiffer, going to be much more durable as well, so, and protect my little girl much better. So, there you have it, uh, finished, uh, reinforced body. Check me out, killmoderc.com, check out my kill mode cat packs, and if you like my videos, go ahead and subscribe, thank you.